In this video, I am taking you behind the scenes into my digital donors on demand membership during one of our monthly live training sessions where Jeanette was looking for help creating her Facebook business ads account to run ads in ads manager. It can get a little complicated, I know. So follow along as I guide her step by step through the process of setting up her Facebook ads manager account. Comment below with any questions. And if you are interested in learning more about my digital donors on demand course and membership, check out the details in the description. Okay. Because on Ad Center, yeah, we'll just go the we'll go the long way because it's hard for me to share a link in here, and then scroll down. Um, do all ads, and then click on Ads Manager where it says Show More Details in Ads Manager. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, but see, it's not right because now it somehow goes to Jeanette Fantastic. Yes. So, have you ever created? You I, have you ever run ads before? Yes, out of my personal, like okay. years ago. But you didn't have, you just started your Facebook page, right? Yeah, yes. Okay, so what we want to do is click on the three hamburger lines. Okay. Yep, and then go to, let's go to ad account settings. And then, yeah, so it's just you. And under up above, under that little drop down arrow, does it list your organization? It doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. No, yeah. Because so I go was back around. All go right. back on the hamburger menu. You're going to make then click on business settings under manage business with the little like gear icon. Oh, yeah, right there. Yep. There we go. And we need to create you an account. Oh. So click this, and then we're going to type in your organization's name. And this is helpful for anybody else who might just be starting it from the beginning. Yes. And though I didn't think I was starting from the beginning. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> and then your name and then your business email. And make sure this is an email you can access, right? Yes. Okay. And then... Um, I wonder if I should do my real name instead oh, of, yeah. <laughs> and then click submit. And then it's going to ask you to separately go ahead and um, if you can confirm your. So, so I'll hit, I can hit done here though. Yep. You can hit done here. And then it's going to ask you in your email to confirm. So I need to go to that email. Yep. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So then what we want to do under accounts where it says pages. Pages. Go down a little bit. Yep. Click on that. And click add. And then add a page because it already exists. And go ahead and type in your page. So just the last part or the whole. Just like start to type in your organization name and it'll it should pop up. Uh, yep, there you go. So it knows it's you. And then sweet. add page. Sweet. Sorry, Boom. Awesome. And then close out of that. Then right under pages where it says add accounts. Under page add accounts, yes. And then click add. Sweet. And then create a new ad account at the bottom. Oh, at the bottom. Yep. And then type in the organization name. Oh, I thought it was going to just like nice and pop up for me. Oh, no, this one has to be <laughs> manually <laughs> entered. <laughs> again. All right. Los Angeles. And then next. And then my business. Create. And it's going to ask you for a credit card that you can enter. Not obviously screen sharing. Um, <laughs> click your name. And then under where it says full control, manage ad account, go ahead and swipe that little guy over so that you have access to everything. Yep. And then click assign. And then you can add payment info later. So just click close and then exit. Cool. And then on the left-hand side, scroll down. So two things. So there in the course, I do walk through the domain and the pixel creation. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'll just show you quickly where these are, but those are going to be in your 
What section is that? It's in campaign creation under like module one and module two. I think that th that's where this all started. Or, yeah. Because you were like, like, what? Yeah. So I was, yeah. <laughs> your um, data sources, because now you'll be able to see it. So click under data sources. Data sources. Oh, just a minute. I moved to see us. Oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> Let's see. So on, on the left, oh, there, data. I saw it there. Yep. Sources. And then click pixels. Pixels. And then we won't go. So follow. So it's gonna. What um. What's your website built on? Um. Well, it's called VV Builder. Is that what you mean? VV like Builder. Okay, I haven't heard of that one. So you'll probably have to when you go through and you click add. It's gonna ask you to go through a series of steps. Okay. And do you have somebody that works with you on your website on updating it? No. It's, it's kind of like a Kajabi thing. Okay. Yeah. So like, I bet you if you search like the VV Builder, like VV Builder, Facebook Analytics, and like where you need to place that little line of code. Okay. Once you click add, it's going to give you that code to put onto the website. Okay. And then, yeah, because I do know on that website, they can hit on my Facebook image and it'll take them to my Innocent Again page. No. Yeah. So we don't, this, so this is more, this is a piece of code tracking like the actions that are happening on the page. Oh, okay. So then watch that session back again and then try going through this. Okay. Um, the next thing you're going to do is click brand safety. Where, down below. Where, yep. Yeah. And then click domains. And then, so here, go ahead and click add. So is this, um, is this recorded and then in our Facebook group? Yep. Okay. So I can, don't need to worry about taking notes right now. Yep. And basically what this brand safety is doing is it's it's making you verify that you own this website because of the updated privacy settings. Mm -hmm. Facebook wants to know like, okay, you are the true owner of this page. Therefore, we can send you data. Mm -hmm. So what you'll need to do is copy that. So where it says copy this meta tag, yep, click on that. And then it'll automatically, it's copied. So paste that somewhere that you can save it on notes or something, or you can email it to yourself. Um, and that needs to go on the header of your website. So again, that's a VV builder thing. Okay. Just to find out wherever your header part is. And you just like plug that in there. And then you'll come back in here and click verify domain. And then instead of not verified at the top, it'll say verified. Oh, okay. So those okay. are the two, those are the two steps that I think were getting you held up was that you didn't have an ad account that was actually created to let you do all these things. Yes. Perfect. And then, and then quick note, when you are ready to add your credit card, you're just going to click on payment methods. Yeah, on the down there. Side. yeah. And then you can and, add in your credit card. And then what about my cute little emblem thing? Will it show up in there? Um, sometimes they do. I think you might have to add that in your business info. Down uh -huh. the bottom, I think. I don't know if that's a if that's a manual. I forget to be honest. Oh, oh yeah, like here. Yeah. Then you can bring a picture. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I'll stop, and you don't. <laughs> no, I hope that I hope that was helpful. Oh my gosh, it was major helpful. Good. <laughs> that was that was worth the price of the whole digital donor <laughs> on demand program. You're so welcome. Yeah.